Shadow Clone Jutsu, aka create a pair of twins in order to disappear both of them so that we can deal with just one variable. Same as last time, first thing we're going to want to do is create a system of equations that matches our situation. So we're going to say B represents number of belts or the cost of belts and P represents cost of a passport. Then I can write these equations. Two times the cost of a belt plus five times the cost of a passport is $300. And four times the cost of a belt plus three times the cost of a passport will be $465. What I want to do is create a set of twins. So I'm going to look for a situation like this. 2B, 4B. It would be pretty simple for me to change this 2 to a 4, right? All I would have to do is multiply by 2. So a little bit like the distributive property, we're, we're multiplying through everything by Two. So this top equation is now going to be 4Bs plus 10 times the price of a passport equals $600. All right, I just doubled everything. I'm going to get four belts instead of two belts, 10 passports instead of five passports. So it's going to cost me double the money, $600. Now, here I have this set of twins. And then we'll do something similar to what we did with some of the more complicated substitution style problems. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, let me collect all these items, four belts and ten passports, and let me subtract away all these items, four belts and three passports. Okay, that will leave me with four belts minus four belts, the zero, ten passports minus three. Three passports is seven passports. And this $600 minus this $465 is $135. Seven passports cost me $135. How did I, again, how did I, how did I figure that out? Yellow equation minus white equation. The bottom yellow equation minus the white equation. Whole thing, just subtract everything. Four minus four is zero. 10 minus 3 is 7, 600 minus 465 is 135. Okay, and now, very simply, you know, this is a one-step equation. Seven passports cost 135, divide by 7, one passport cost me almost 20, or my fault, almost $20. This, this, this is going to require a calculator on my part. I think we got decimals, $19.29 approximately. Tells me I got another child who might have been putting random numbers down instead of working the problem from the beginning. But okay, $19.29 for a passport. Then, so this, when I was a student, I liked this method better than the other method because it more quickly eliminated one of the variables and got me to the to one of the answers but it actually this method takes a little longer to get my second my second variable value so i know what a passport costs now i need to pick one of these equations from above i'm going to choose this one only because it's got the smallest numbers in it and we'll work through this five passports 19 29 i'm replacing P with 1929, and then we'll just solve this. 2 times the price of a belt plus 95, 96, $96.45 equals $300. Subtract that 96.45 from both sides. We got two belts equals. $203.55, and that means one belt 
one belt. This is an expensive belt. It's going to cost me $101.70. All right, around a lot. Around a lot for this one. Tell me, whichever one of you made this problem, maybe you didn't work your numbers out before you created it, or it could be, this is the second person I've had that switched the order, belts and passport, and then switched it to passport and belt. That might have confused you, tripped you up. You might not have realized you switched your order. Anyway, long story short, solved by Shadow Clone Jutsu or twinning, however you want to think of it. Same kind of thing. Another example. Let me let me do this one. Let me do this one later. Let me do one of these tougher ones first. So we got D for the cost of a dog and C for the cost of a cat. And we want to create first our set of equations. So seven dogs. 7 times the price of a dog plus 8 cats, 8 times the price of a cat, will cost me $412. These are some cheap pets. Alright, if instead I get 10 dogs and 3 cats, that's only going to cost me $361. Meaning that cats are, cats are more expensive than dogs, I believe. Okay. So now this situation, why is this why is this one step harder? This is one step harder because last time I could multiply two times two to get my four. I made this pair of twins pretty easily, right? Uh, two belts, easy to turn that into four belts and have a pair of twins. In this situation, it's not so easy to make a pair of twins. All right, but there is a surefire method that always works. And that might be the other reason that I, as a student, preferred this method. The real name of it is el elimination. Uh, but I preferred this method more than substitution because there's this right here is always going to work to create a pair of twins without getting into decimals or whatnot. So if I want to make both of my C terms match, I can multiply each of these equations by the other equation's coefficient. Meaning this, I can multiply this top equation by 3 and multiply this bottom equation by 8. Alright, see how I switched those coefficients? What that's, what that's going to gain for me is this guy right here becomes 21 times the price of a dog plus 24 times the price of a cat equals 1236 dollars 1236 dollars and this guy right here 80 times the price of a dog plus 24 times the price of a cat. All right, see that? There's my twins. Because I multiplied each by the other's coefficient, we were forced to have two 24s. 8 times 3 is the same as 3 times 8. Commutative property. Okay, we got 8. 60 times 8 is 480. So 2, 8, 8, 8, could that be? 8 times 361, 2,888. Okay, then from there we do what we did last time. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to bring this, uh, this red equation down below the green equation. I want to subtract the red equation only because then I don't have to deal with negative numbers. So 24 minus 24, that will cancel. And that's what we want to do. Create the shadow clone and then poof, make them disappear. 
80 minus 21 is 59 times the price of a dog equals 2,888 minus 1,236 is 1,652. All right, 59, 59 times the price of a dog is $1,652. Divide both sides by 59, and we have our price of one dog. So again, pretty quickly, we can get to one of our two variables. We got exactly $28 for a dog. This is a very cheap dog. All right, you're gonna spend more money feeding it for a couple weeks than you bought for the dog itself. Okay, so I'm halfway there, I have my price of my dog, and then of course, once again, we grab one of these equations uh, and, and use what we now know about the price of the dog to solve for the price of the cat. I'm gonna choose this guy only because it's got 10 times in it, 10 times the price of a dog, and it'll be nice and easy to Multiply by 10. Okay, so we got 280 plus three times the price of a cat equals 361. Subtract 280 from both sides. Three times the price of a cat is 79, 71. Mm, 81. Alright, three times the price of a cat is $81. Split that. One cat is going to cost $27. Ha! Interesting. I was wrong. Dogs are more expensive than cats in this system. They're almost equal in value. Ah, 15 of them for 412, 13 of them for 361. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cats, $27. Dogs, $28. Again, if you want to check, are you correct? You can grab a calculator and easily do that. 7 times 28 plus 8 times 27 equals 412. Exactly what I want. 10 times 28 plus 3 times 27 equals 361. So checked that is true, and we're all good with that.